this is Terms of Service 1000, and I'm going to show you how to use the free screen recording software program Cam Studio. And if you look at it first, it's really easy to use. It has uh, the usual buttons that you'll see on a screen recording software program. The record button, the pause button, the stop button. And the other cool thing is that it's got these other ones that you can use. It's got toggle view, which you can change from this view to this view to this view, back to the original view. And the next one is screen annotations, which you can edit in your uh, video. And the other last one is record to flash slash AVI. I mean, you can record to SWF back to AVI. And uh, that's really cool. So, And when you go up to file now, you click file, it has all the buttons again, pause, stop, record, go over to region. The really cool thing about region is that uh, you can make it to full screen, to fixed region, which you type the numbers in on your computer for that, and to region. And the really cool thing about region is that you can uh, choose the space where you want to record by just clicking the record button and uh, putting a box around your space that you want to record to let go and immediately it'll start recording as you can see and it'll show these flashing arrows on the upper right hand corner lower right lower left upper left hand corner and the other really cool thing about it is that you can move the uh, move the corners around so instead of just leaving it in one place you can move it to this place to this place back to this place and then there you go and uh, if you go up to options now you have video options just click that and you should probably leave it at what they have it especially the quality because if you make it too low the video won't be per you know won't be able to probably upload on YouTube or any other thing and if you put it too high it's the same thing even though it's gonna be a lot better quality you probably won't be able to upload it on YouTube or it'll take so much longer so I just leave it at 70 like it is so yeah I'm gonna press OK and you have cursor options which uh, the other cool thing about it is that you can choose like I'm doing it right now you can choose to uh, put like a circle so it can show where your uh, arrow is you know a circle and you can choose from a circle to a ellipse to a square, to a rectangle, but I just leave it to a circle because that's just, you know, the easiest way. And, you know, you can put in a custom cursor or anything you'd like, so, yeah, it's a cool thing. And uh, the important thing here is uh, if you're going to create a video for a presentation or anything, make sure you're recording audio from microphone because if it records from anything else, it, uh won't record from the speakers it'll give you this wave out get stuck control fail and uh... even though it looks like it's going to it's not and if you're gonna you know do the uh... video representation don't forget to leave it on record audio from microphone but you can switch that to not record audio if you don't want any audio in your presentation so that's you should keep that in mind and if you go to audio options now you can choose the options for the microphone and just leave everything except the really important thing and I've learned this too the volume is really important because if you leave it on default input device the volume will be really really quiet and you're gonna have to put like your speakers to max just to hear it so I would change it to what your uh, microphone is mine is microphone real tech high definition you know so you should probably change that to that because when you get uh, Cam Studio, it's going to leave it to default input device, leave it to change it to microphone. So okay, and uh, you have all these other things that you can do. I don't mess with that. Program options. You can choose if you want to minimize the program on start recording, hide the flashing rectangle, save settings on exit, capture, transduce it, and other cool things that you can do and record the flash options what you want to choose there and keyboard shortcuts now if you go to tools I don't mess with that view uh, I wouldn't mess with that and help uh, it's got the cam studio website and frequently asked questions that you can uh, you know if 
this video has to explain everything, then you can just click that. And this, when your uh, recording is done, all you gotta do is press the stop button, and it'll immediately come up on your desktop where you want to save it. But I'm gonna just save it to my uh, public downloads. And uh, it's already got everything set up for you, so just type in, I'm going to type in test, and save it. And it'll already start compressing the uh, file, and it'll show you how much the percentage, so... And usually it'll be really, really quick to uh, compress the file, so it's done. And the other cool thing is that um, it's got a player where before you even upload or anything, you can play it here and watch what you've just done let go and immediately it'll start recording as you can see and it'll show these flash yeah so that's the uh, really cool thing about it and uh, when you're done just press you know exit on the player and that's pretty much it for how to use the screen recording software program cam studio uh, thanks for watching all my YouTube viewers and don't forget to rate comment and subscribe